In this video, I'll go over again on how to construct a box plot for uh, a given data set and we are using the uh, McDonald waiting times to get the lunch uh, from our data set number one. And now you can see we have 50 data points and if you want to find the box plot, first you can highlight the whole 50 data points and then go to insert go to insert statistic charts go to the box and the whisker okay so this is how you got the box and the, the whisker and you can uh, delete the charts or the label here sorry the uh, number one here delete it so this is your box and uh, the, the whisk up uh, plot now um, how do I get uh, the numbers right the five number summaries here so as I mentioned in the class we have five number summary we have the min let's do the max first the max Q3 is the third quartile, Q2 or your median M, Q1 the first quartile and the mean value. So how do I find the max? The max I can use the uh, the max functions of all the the data, or I can use the quartile. Remember we are using the INC function, okay? So you're gonna you're gonna control the whole thing here and track the data. Uh, to 50. Okay. And then comma and the mean value is 0, the max value is your 4. So the second argument is number 4 to get you the max value. Okay. Now, you can drag the whole thing down, but before that, you don't want to change the value of, of, of the first cell because you want to get from A1 all the way to A50. So you want the number 1 and 50, they are locked. So when you drag the cell down, they are not changing to the next row. So if you want to lock that number one or A1 number one, input the dollar sign. And then the same thing here before the 50, input the dollar sign. Okay, so you, so you lock the whole thing from A1 to A50, the whole data set. So now let's click enter. And now when you drag it all the way down here, now the reason you still see 308 because your Q3, the input here should be 3 because this is the quartile number 3 and then here is your median of Q2 then your second argument should be 2 and Q1 your argument should be 1 and min is your Q0 or the second argument should be 0 okay and you can see that we still have A1 to A50 we still have A1 and A50 because 1 to 50 they are locked. If you put the dollar side, they are locked. They are not changing. Okay, so let's see. Let's compare. This one is the mean value 83. We have the same number. Now, this one is your Q1 127, but we have something different here. And Q2 is 150. Q2 is right here 150.5. Yes. Q3 187 we have 186.75 so they are a little bit different here so the reason is because the Excel they are using a different formula to to generate the box plus but what we can do now is you can click on on uh, the, the box and the whisker and click on the right uh, format data series and uh, because we we use the inc function quartile dot inc 
So make sure you switch it back to inclusive INC as well. Okay. Otherwise, you don't get the same things. And uh, we didn't have time in the class to go over uh, more in details how to adjust that. Uh, so I show you here. So let's close it. Now, let's check it again. 83, 83 is right here. This one is 127.75. Your Q1, the same value. Your Q2 is right here. Your Q2 is this line. This line right here. So this line is 150.5, which is your Q2 median. And then this is your Q3. 186.75 which is right here and then 308 is your max now this number is not 308 but instead this is 308 because 308 the point is outside the whisker this point 308 the max value is the outlier so if the out, if the max or the mean value is outside the uh, upper and the lower fences the cut up points for uh, the outlier then the, the, the point is located uh, individually outside and you know that this point is the outlier and in this data in the whole data set we know that there are two outliers and what is what is the rule for the outlier remember we have the um, the lower fence and the upper fence Okay, so if your data are outside of the two fences here, they are considered to be the outlier. The lower fan is your Q1 minus 1.5. This is the formula. Multiply interquartile range. This is the formula for the lower fan. And then the upper fan is your Q3 plus 1.5 times interquartile range. Now let's figure out these two values. First thing you need to figure out the IQR, interquartile range, and that the formula for that is your Q3 minus Q1. So let's do this here. Equal Q3 minus Q1. Okay. This is your interquartile range, which is the difference between the Q3 and Q2. Now the uh, the lower fan we have Q1 is right here minus 1.5 multiply with IQR which is 59 and then the uh, upper fan Q3 is right here plus 1.5 multiply IQR which is 59 so we know that this point right here at 255 255 is below the upper fence so that's why we stop here now this point 281 is above the upper fence so that's why this point is outside of your um, upper fence and that's why it's, it is the outlier 275.70 um, or 25 this is the upper fence and this is lower fan 39.29 so it's way below here and therefore the mean value is still above the uh, the upper fan the lower fan and therefore the mean value is including in here now to label all the points uh, just to to get it uh, easy to to read you can double click on on the uh, the box and plus uh, wrap here and click on add charts element and click on data label and then go to more data label options and then you can see that it's high slide everything here this is the mean q1 median q2 q3 and they are all the same this is not this is your max this is not your max this is the point uh, below 281 and inside the upper fence okay so the point with the x mark here this is your mean value the average value of everything so it's also so here
Now, you can sort the, the data. Let's sort that and then you, you will see what I mean. So let's sort the data from smallest to largest. Okay, so we go to data, sort it to smaller to largest. Okay. Now, so 308 and 281, they are the two value that are outside of the upper fence. And that's why they become the outliers. And therefore, you don't draw the whisker to one of these two points. Okay, okay. Now, that's why we consider the next lower point, which is 255. And 255 is the point after, right after that, and 255 is inside the, uh, this interval below 275. And therefore, this is a point that you should connect up to um, the ending of the upper uh, whisker. And that's why this is the point 255 that you see it here. And these two points, they are the outlier. But for the mean value 83, 83 is still inside this interval, so that is your mean point. So looking at this data and drawing the box and plus, you can see right away that um, what are the, the, the five number summary and how many outliers that we have in the data. So this box plus is very nice. That, a tour to to know and you can see that the the tail uh, on the on the upper and the lower they are almost equal you can see that they are symmetrical so this distribution looks like that we have a normal or standard uh, distribution of the data okay so that's how we plot the uh, box plot thanks for watching